Abuja, Nigeria's capital, is one of the most beautiful and populated cities in Nigeria. It is the eighth most populous city in Nigeria as well. According to the United Nations, Abuja grew by 139.7% between 2000 and 2010, making it the fastest growing city in the world. Now, many throng in from different corners of the country in search of greener pastures, but this comes at a price for those who can't afford decent housing. They are forced to settle for temporary housing on illegal land. Here's the story of mountain villages in Guzapi, Abuja. No social amenities, a long energy draining hike and a scene reminiscent of extinction are what describes the small community behind this mountain, referred to as Costain Hilltop, which the inhabitants now call Mountain Village. It originated from the Castain that was down, who was the owner of the, the, the big um, resort, you know. So originally it was called Castain Hilltop, but as time went on, um, people decided that it was on a mountain, so they started calling it Mountain Village. You know, so I'm sure the people know this mountain as Mountain Village. Now, the irony of it all is when you look at this other side, and then look at that other side where all the civilization and the beauty of Abuja lies, you begin to wonder, is this really the FCT? This village, located in the heart of the Federal Capital Territory, used to be home to over 7,000 people until it got demolished. Many who now live here are either returnees or people who can't afford to pay for rent in the capital city. They set up temporary structures to enable them have a place to lay their heads. 45-year-old Chris Milan has lived here for almost 15 years. All hands are not equal. Going up and, this, up and down this mountain, it takes you one hour, one and a half hour to climb up, depending on the kind of person that you are. If you look around this mountain, you can't find anybody who is fat because the fatigue is high. It's like you going on a jog every morning because you have to get to work and get back. You know, there is no water, there's no light. So you have to get down the mountain to fresh water. Use jerry cans to bring it up. You understand? Some people can't do it. So they pay people who go down this mountain and fetch, like the widows around, you know, and their children, most of the times they have to go down the mountain, look for food, look for firewood to cook, you know, and then fetch water and bring you to come see sometime. A tour around some parts of the village shows structural foundations that were demolished and the place has returned to being farmlands of the native Bagi people. Yeah, the okra has taken place, the farm is taking place, it's on top of somebody's house. You know, these are all houses. You know, and that's the soccer way there. You know, these are all houses. Here used to be houses where you can see it's taken over by cashews and um, all the grains that they planted. This cashew has been planted in between so that you don't have space to build your house even when you come back. We met 25-year-old Elizabeth Emmers, who is a mother of two. She was pregnant with this baby at the time the authorities demolished their home. The fright and agony triggered her to go into premature labor. Her home and shop all got demolished, leaving her with no source of livelihood to feed her kids or send them to school. To survive, she now picks used plastic food storage containers, popularly known as takeaway packs from refuse, washes them and resells them. Fatima Musa, who has remained inconsolable since her husband died from grief after demolition paints a green picture. One day, I went, I go market at Maraba, from Maraba to Orange Market. I do go Nasarawa to buy yam, other things. So before you know, I come back, I came back and meet my husband. Shoes. Yeah. All these ladies, pan, both male and female. We sell this one, one one care. As in single, as in wholesale, that is um, 750 or 800. If they can make like 25. See the female on here that I'm using it. Okay, you actually wear this. Yes, so you, climb, you climb up and down this mountain with this shoe. Yeah, with this one, you see this strong. I buy it from the market in Nyanyan side. Because this Abuja here, now that is Nyanyan, we can get the best quality of materials we want. Mm -hmm. 